Okay, we're now recording. Um, welcome to the NCW EU 2020 um, meeting. Uh, this is the NA meeting. Um, so I'm just going to pop the link to the docs in the chat over here. Uh, uh, who would like to be the note taker for this session? I can take notes. Thank you very much, Josh. Um, and uh, um, okay, so that that's one thing done. Is there anyone new to this meeting who um, who who hasn't who would like to introduce themselves, or is do we have? I think I think everyone here we've had before in the previous meeting. So I'll, okay, um, so just diving into uh, from in the EU meeting, um, they, they said the slide deck's live now. Um, so the only thing that's left is um, the, the content proposal. And I think from the look of the content proposal, um, I'm just going to pull that up. Uh, pr pretty much the un the only thing that we haven't decided on for the for the content proposal is the 201 local building test. But the the rest the rest of it, um, I think we're ready to kind of put most of that content into the schedule. Would does everyone agree with this, or do we need to flesh it out a little bit more? Um, I think in general, um, the fleshing out would would be up to the person presenting the local building test, right? Um, do we have, so so in, in, in a sense, I think this is kind of connected to who's running which part of the workshop, um, just because it's kind of hard to do like a demo when you, you're you kind of like, I don't, I don't know what this is. Can I just hit play somewhere? <laughs> so local building test, we live, the definition for that just we're going to build something locally leave you leave it vague and fuzzy and then you know the person who's doing the session will decide on the content for that because if we try and decide it right here it's just not going to be a good time <laughs> yeah yeah so um so maybe it, then maybe then i misunderstand your question um were you asking if this is too fuzzy or um because i think it's i think it's good I, I was just, uh, my question was like, does, does this look good to chuck this stuff into sketch? Because I think that's the whole thing with the content proposal is we chuck it in, we chuck the content of the content proposal okay. into sketch. Um, in that case, we should probably rewrite that that section that's highlighted right now, because um, we probably shouldn't put, could we do something else here into the sketch? Um. Yeah, I think there's, there's like, there's the notes, there are, there's three sets of notes we have. We have the meeting notes, the content proposal, and the on the day slash, you know, the run book kind of notes, like what is this and that, so. I'm just going to share my screen actually with the content proposal and we can just go through that. Um, where is a content proposal? Share. Y'all can see my share. So do, do, do. there is the overview. Um, do we need to have like an overview here or um, 
because I feel like we've captured this in the descriptions over here. The, for the NCW topics 101 and 201, there's a bulk description underneath each of them. So um, an overview for like the whole NCW workshop um, might be a bit overkill. Hello? Any, anyone saying anything? Um, uh, let me just check the Zoom chat because chat. Okay, I'm just going to. Um, Apple folks saying they're not going to make it. Huh? Um, I, I, I just started hearing you, Gwen. Oh, sorry. Just a couple folks saying they weren't going to make it. Okay. Um, so I was just. Uh, I'm going to cut this top out because. We cover this down over here in topics 101 and 201. Um, there's this bit over here where I'm going to just leave a comment. Because this is over here a kind of a guideline of the content, but it's not the description that we're going to chuck in the schedule. And is that what the content proposal is? The descriptions we're chucking in the schedule? I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm going to look into this, but um, yeah, I think we've got build Kubernetes binaries locally and do some fun things with them. Um, I'm just going to come in. Allison, are you still sharing? Am I still sharing? Is it sharing? You are definitely still sharing. Also, okay. I'm finally at a computer. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, so, sure. yeah, I think the content proposal, we've got all the descriptions for the schedule. Um, we can chuck it all in sketch, the, the descriptions. I can write an email with the descriptions and send it to the relevant people who are looking after the sketch. Does this sound like what we need to do from here or what do we need to discuss team? Um, so, so, so if I'm, I'm um, so if we are going to send the, the content um, I, I think what needs to happen is that each uh, section of the of the schedule needs to have its own description, right? So, um, including the introduction, communications, and community. Do we just want to make that a ninety-minute slot, which is fine, um, and then just say, and, and then just say what 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 what, uh, and then just write a short description like, "Hey, this is a, a welcome to the community." Uh, community context, how the community works, how you should communicate, um, what you what you all need to get set up with the community, um, stuff like that. So that needs to have that needs to have a, a blurb, right? Um, do we want to leave it at 90 minutes total? I think that's fine. Um, that allows us to have some flexibility. I personally like the 90 minute block. I feel like that's a, that time box is it enough where you're going to hit all the like really big points and some of the finer points, but it gives enough time for the rest of the workshop. Yeah, it's, you can like have a welcome, you can have a PR demo, and then you can have people just set up with um, all the communication options. Um, 
One thing that I would really love for uh, some folks to spend time on for this is to make the Slack and discuss setup interactive, like actually have a welcome channel, um, actually have like maybe like almost like a little, uh, like a treasure hunt or something like, you know, the first, the first five people to like introduce themselves to each other in Slack or something like that. Um, but that's probably not on topic for the content proposal. So I'm sorry. I'm just going to add it into the list of stuff that's inside the content proposal. Cause I think the way, way we've been working from this is let's build a list of what's going to be here and then let's summarize it. Hmm. I do actually like that idea with Slack. Maybe like one thing that comes to mind is spinning up a Slack channel just for NCW EU 2020. And like, yeah, yep. that's their little space. Yep. And that just makes it more workshoppy rather than uh, luxury. Um, but it does mean that we do have to have people in the sidelines monitoring that channel and um, and like, you know, interacting with people. It's like, hey, like if, if some of us hang out there and be like, yay, welcome, um, ask questions here. So we do need to have that, you know, it takes more work <laughs> and, and, pre and preparation. Uh, who's in charge of uh, Slack channels? Who can add us a Slack channel? Uh, I can. Actually, anyone can, as long as they PR it against the like Slack config and community. But like Bob and I are approvers, so we can get that through. All right, let's assign Jeff Bob to that Slack channel. Isn't it Bob Jeff? No, it's Jeff Bob. It's definitely Jeff Bob. I mean, I would, I wouldn't know though. It's. I have a quick question about the Slack channel. Uh, Go ahead. Do you, yeah. Do you need to open it now or the day of the contributor summit? So we can open it now or like a week in advance. There's the only people that really see new Slack channel requests. I mean, unless someone's watching K community are the Slack admins. And yeah, I, would, I wouldn't worry too much about opening it up early, but I wouldn't do it this early, if that makes sense. I would almost like stage the PR and then hold it until a week before. Okay. Yeah, because but like we can almost, do... Oh, go ahead, sorry. I was kind of concerned about communication. Like when do you need to communicate this large channel to the attendees? Well, I thought we were going to be doing that as part of the like intro communication thing. Like, here's your introduction to Slack and here's your own personal Slack channel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we can have like little games, like how many SIG Slack channels are there or like um, find, find uh, a user handle with like three numbers in it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and then give out stickers for the first person, like. Slack fire stickers. I was thinking honk stickers, but you know. We need, we need Slack sparkles sticker. You know, the sparkles emoji combined with Slack. Some positivity. Now, I, now that's another set of stickers I need to order. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, we need sparkles, yeah. Um, oh, so scavenger hunt idea and creating a separate Slack channel for the NCW workshop, like that's a, I am so on board with that. That's, that is really good. And we can do the same for, for discuss as well. Mm. I actually believe uh, I think it was Barcelona. We did actually spin up a discuss thread just for the new contributor workshops and then had people interact in there. Yeah, but, but yeah, I, I just, I just, I just really want to 
yeah, make people make people get involved mm. right from the start. Okay. This this is good. Um, I'm just uh, going through the. What else are things that we need to cover? I think we've we've done the GitHub slides. Um, where is the? I need to chuck the link for the slides into the. Where is the link for this? Copy link. I am just going to go. Slides. So if uh, you haven't checked out the slides already, I'm just going to be linking to them now. Slides. And we've created the slides. Um, so now we've got this content proposal and we have the slides. Um, well, it's, um, I think the next thing is uh, we need to just work on the slides um, and then figure out who's going to be presenting what. Um, I'm kind of unsure about the order to do all these things. So, so Gwen, if you can shed some light on what Yeah, I, I, have, I have a couple of suggestions. Um, so I think what we should do is, um, So we can we can we can go. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I keep thinking of new and uh, of more and more things. Let me get my let me get my video on so you, you all can see me pulling my hair. Um, great. So um, I think it would be really good to assign individuals for each presentation slot. Um, that's a little bit tricky for the ninety minutes morning session, uh, the 90 minute combined or like the combined content session, because there's a couple different things going on in there. But for especially for the afternoon workshops, I think it'll be really good to um, basically just assign the content um, and people can just be like, hey, I'll do this. I'll do this. Um, keeping in mind that we'll probably want um, extra presenters slash TAs for some of this stuff. Um, but that would allow people to control their slides a little bit better and to control their content a little bit better because it's really frustrating to deal with slides that aren't yours. Absolutely. Yeah, because I feel like if we, if we end up like all like going ham at the slides and then we assign the people, people are like, yeah. what are um, these slides? I didn't, I didn't make them. So. I think what would be really good is um, to make sure that currently the slides match the content layout in the content proposal mm -hmm. um, and that we have big section slides. And so then people uh, who are doing parts of the content can go over and be like, okay, does this make sense to me? Do I need to just like toss them all out, redo them, um, stuff like that. Mm. Is the, the, the slides, the because of the content proposal, we've kind of shifted a bit and we've added some new stuff. Yeah, we, we do need to re revisit the slide deck and update it. So I'm, I'm, happy, to, I'm happy to look over that today um, to just go through the slides and cash that out. Um, I think what we also, yeah, what we also need the and the NCW leads that uh, um, Rail and I and and Tim Tim we need to work on we need to assign people. I feel like I feel like there's a slight sense of urgency because we need a lot of time to practice as well. Um, like so, the sooner we like power through slides, the more time we can spend practicing. And just making sure the things, all the all the little things around the presentation, like oh, does like does the steps in this demo, like the harbor box, all those things fall into place. Does that sound about right, everybody? 
On top of that, the more that you practice, the more that you'll probably wind up fine tuning the slides anyways that you're trying to power through. So it, it, that is a good path forward. Do we think we're ready to uh, assign people today? I think the sooner that somebody can take ownership of a chunk of slides, um, the sooner stuff is going to happen. Um, if I know that I'm running the PR demo for one of the workshops, um, I can go ahead and get that started and like sign up with somebody else um, for, you know, and, and team up with the person who's doing it in the other room. If I'm reading this correctly, we're doing just two separate rooms, but with the same content. So for the welcome, yes. Like that whole introduction. And Unfor unfortunately, there was no way to get two rooms that could be joined and then separated. I mean, it was a giant dumpster fire in San Diego. So I am okay with this. We also so have plenty of people. So <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So the, the intro stuff, yes, that's going to be the same content in both rooms. But then, after, you know, once you get into the separate tracks, yeah. Yep. So, um, but that does mean two, two presenters doing the same presentation. But anyway, all I was saying is if, if I'm going to do that, then I can find the other person who's doing it in the other room and we can like figure out something awesome together or, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, I wasn't volunteering, but um, um, I would I, potentially. But like, Potentially, yeah. But we should go through this list and, and see like, um, and, and just assign people. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be one person, but um, it, it could be just, you know. Mm. Like, so, who, wants, who wants to do the introduction? I'll help out with the introduction. I, so we need two, we need two introduction teams, one for each room? Yep. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the overall. We can just hear you. It's oh, quiet. Okay. Is that better? It's, it's, it's a bit quiet, Rob, but. Yeah, um, I'd be happy to help out the introduction. So, where am I capturing this? Um, I'm going to capture this on the here, who? Um, I'm going to put two ones and the one. Oh. I'm just going to put a giant list of people. Um, I'm putting the who, I'm putting this in the content proposal right now, but we're going to shift a lot of the stuff out into a, a working document. So we're going to have, like, I imagine we're going to have a document, which is like a run, run through document with who's doing what, what, like some of the extra details. But for now, I'm just chucking it all in the same doc. Um, so there's the introduction bit. Um, We'll want more people for that because um, we'll have the communications um, and the community stuff, which isn't, you know, and, and, and like, you know, uh, what's a SIG and how do I join a SIG and um, wh what even is like, where are all the repos and what do they mean kind of thing. So, okay. Yeah. Mm. Would it be a good idea to like create like some sort of poll or forum thing that we can send out to everyone and see what they would be willing to present or something like that. Because I feel like we could we could assign people in this call, but not everyone's here. Um, so today is Tuesday. I feel like we should know who is doing what by the end of the week, and we yeah. should put a blanket ask out in Summit staff. Because mm. there might be there might be some people that are summit staff that aren't necessarily NCW staff, but could take on a thing, you know, mm. like a, a code base walkthrough. Like, if there's somebody there that could do it. That that would be awesome because that that code base walkthrough is. <laughs> mm. People ask people ask you the the hard questions in that one. <laughs> mm. Uh, that that could be a um, uh, an opportunity to uh, more scavenge scavenger hunting to use the uh, to use the code search UI. 
Mm. I want to hear more about that. Well, if I, if we were to um, maybe uh, describe something to find in the code and using using either Git, GitHub and or the, the UI to do a search, the csokates.io UI. Oh, like, hey, who can tell, let's, let's give everybody five minutes. Who can tell me where the kubectl code lives? Exactly, yeah. Oh, yes, I like it. I love it, that's great. It's sort of capture the flag competition, if you will, almost. Should I just share this doc with Sig Contrabix so everyone can edit it? I'm yeah. going to go ahead and say yes, because I have run into several instances of my own docs that I've created and then like people need access to it and they can't. Yeah, I, I'm it's just, just easier. I'm just going to go share it. If you refresh it, you can now type. Oh, look, it even sent myself an email. <laughs> so if you refresh the doc, you can now edit it. Um, hmm. So yeah, in Slack, we're going to figure out a way so we can poll everyone for who can support and assist with what. Um, let's, let's try and assign as many people as we can that are here. Yeah. Um, there's, I know there's, wait, there's only five of us right now. Mm. Um, I thought I was doing an, an un, unproportionate amount of talking, but maybe slightly less so. Um, cool. So, um, let's see, who, who has experience doing the workspace setup? I have not run that one very often at all, but I know Rael has, and I know Tim has. Shall we just go ahead and put them in there and just make yeah. sure to verify? Can I suggest annotating these with approximately what time they are? Oh, yes. Yes. Because a lot of us are doing other things at the Contributor Summit also. Because mm. I, yeah, I'm still trying to get the time. We, we need to get those time frames in actually, like how many minutes each thing's going to be. Um, I, I've got, I've got like how many hours on some of the 201 stuff, but the 101 stuff, if someone could help, help me out with that. Um, that would be good. Uh, I can see what we planned. I can look into what we planned last time. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, Gwen. Yep. I have to hop off soon, but it's almost going to be a seamless transition of Bob, Jeff, Jeff, Bob, because Bob's about to hop on. So. <laughs> So what can we assign you on? Uh, anything in the middle of the day. I want to keep myself free for the end and the beginning in case there are any fires. Uh, so I, I would have happily done the welcome, but I have my own welcome to do. Gotcha. Um, so any, <laughs> anything like between 10 and lunch, I think. Um, yeah, Bob will be on in a minute. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Uh, let's put him on find your first issue. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking that too. <laughs> Do you love how I waited until he signed off? Mm. It's a surprise. <laughs> um, Josh, how are you feeling about the pull request exercise and what's your time frame? What time is it going to be, approximately? 
Probably right after lunch. Yeah. That's the same time as the LTS session, which I'm helping lead. Okay. Then um, I would recommend Tim and Rael for workspace setup and local build and test on the 101. Hmm. Okay. Um, Tim. I'm now blanking what Tim's last name is. Pepper. Pepper. Yeah, Tim Pepper. Because Tim Pepper's in the same LTS session. So that's 1.30 to 2.30. Okay. So I'll need to work around that whatever that time is. The, the workspace setup and the local build and test for the 101, would that be during the morning? Um, that would be after the, that would be right after the welcome. So that might actually be before lunch. Because mm. the welcome's like 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like what, what time is things? I, what, I need another notepad. <laughs> but I have no notepads for me. Because that's one thing, like, I, I've just got 90 minutes, but I also, I, I have when to look start? at, when, when do we start? When's like, when does the welcome finish? And is there a break between the welcome welcome and the session starting? Yeah. Is there a, Kubernetes Montreal Summit EU 2020. Sketch. Sides at nine. Right. So I found I found the schedule. Yeah. Um so nine. All right, it starts at nine thirty. Nine thirty. So nine thirty, ten, eleven. So that would be at eleven. Right, um separate topics start at eleven. Hmm. So yeah, so all the separate topics they start at eleven. So eleven AM. And so, yeah, because 9 30, 10, then 11. Yes. Just doing that things. Um, so. No, I just put blanket placeholders for time in there this morning. Yeah, I was just browsing the sketch. Um, Oh, Bob, that, that sounds great. Can you, um, since you have seen the experience with, uh, with San Diego um, and you are the sketch master, can you, do you think you can go through the content proposal and assign slots? Uh, yeah, the, the only thing, I, sketch was like breaking for me earlier today. Like I had to ask Puya to, to update it because it, it would. You're breaking up. Is it just me? You're frozen, Bob. Oh, there you go. Is it that cold in the Midwest? It's actually like pretty warm out right now. Like 40 degrees. Oh my gosh, just like here. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, what I was asking is just um, if you could throw some times um, and durations onto the content proposal um, that, because if you are going to add things to sketch later, then that makes you kind of the perfect person to create those slots. Am I making sense? I'm probably not making sense. It makes sense. And I, I can chop it up. It's uh, to be, you know, however much time is needed. If if want to mimic um, San Diego, I can essentially just replicate it. Yes, that 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 would be awesome. Uh, the only thing, just a reminder that like um, the beginner and intro, we cannot share the room for the first part of it. Like they are separate rooms. Yep. Yep. We we went over that. 
Um, and that's totally fine because that's part of what broke the things with the screens and everything last time anyway. So um, I'm, I'm, I am okay with this. Um, so let's see. So we are just trying, I'm sorry to, to, uh, to catch you up, Bob. We're just trying to um, get like a rough feel for uh, assigning uh, teams for each section and each topic. Um, so the beginning, the introduction communications community is kind of like a big blob. So it makes sense to assign more people, especially because we're going to have to duplicate it. Um, and the person who does the welcome doesn't have to be the same as the person who does the PR demo, um, that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, but let's go on to the 101 topics and we're trying to work around people's schedules as well. Um, so workspace setup and local build and test, I sort of volunteered Ryle and Tim for that. Um, pull request exercise, that would probably be after lunch. Um, ooh. Who, would, who, who, wants to, who wants to do the pull request exercise using the contributor playground? Um, I could, I could, I could do it. Yeah. It, it's, it's a fun one. We can honk at people. Honk. I like that. And I haven't done any 101 stuff at all. So it would be uh, wonderful to have you doing the 101 stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, I want I want to reach out to the community at large if we can to maybe get um, who is it? Somebody uh, I think Wojtek does a really good um, Kubernetes code base walkthrough. Um, so that would be fun. But like if but I also liked Rob's idea of doing a, a scavenger hunt, so that might actually be a be contradictory. Um, but anyway, yeah, I can do the pull request exercise, which basically means that we have like we have the setup for the 101 topics all covered. If you put my name down for the pull request exercise. Um, and we can um, we can ask folks who aren't here to help us out. Um, I you know I might reach out and, and get some help here. Um, I know that I can't. Uh, yeah, so I know that some people can't do that time. I'm assuming pull request exercise will be after lunch. Um, and then find your first issue, and that'll be the last one, right? For the 101. Um, and find your first issue. Um, might take a little bit of extra thought to um so um all right let's look at the 201 topics we have the kubernetes walkthrough it would be people really like that one um i like making it a little bit i like the i like the um the scavenger hunt um if we could add that as a uh as a point there mm -hmm. Scavenger hunt. Yep. I'm happy to I'm happy to do the KK walkthrough this time around. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Very cool. So let's assign you for that. Let's chuck my name in. Um nice. And then who wants to do the 201 build and test? I think that's the I was um, thinking. So from, from last week's discussions, um, and then I think talk, talking to Ben, I think he would be a good person to ask to do the building test. Um, but I think he's got a meeting clash at the moment, so he's not here, so. Ben the Elder? Yeah. Nice. He, he is responding in Slack if you have specific questions. Okay. I will, I will, I will, I'll ping him, I'll ping him after okay. this and we'll just go through to the label spots and get workflow. Um, so 
and so there's there's free sessions after lunch labels bots and git yes you can review you yes you can review your pr and uh finding your first issue kind of closing remarks there so so um, it's oh i am so sorry someone just tried to have a meeting in this room <laughs> Um, so we have, we, where was I? Um, labels, bots, and Git workflow. Who would like to, who would like to volunteer for that? I mean, this is really fun. You, you can slash honk. Yeah. What, what time is that likely to be? That's, part, that's going to be in the afternoon. Um, so I'm thinking the KK walkthrough, we have the 11 a.m. till lunch. Yeah, and then afternoon sessions, local board and test that's going to take about an hour. So after lunch, do we kick off at 1 p.m. after lunch? Do you know, Bob? Uh, lunch, I think, is at 1230. Uh, and Sketched keeps literally booting me out after any time I try and save something. OK. So I, I see everything else starts off at 1.30 again. So, um, it, so this is 1, 1.30 till, I feel like it's gonna take, and maybe it might take an hour to do local bulletin test. Um, because uh, you, you have these workspace issues and pulling things from Docker and there's a lot of things that like can like vary. So then the labels, bots and Git workflow, that might be longer than 15 minutes. I, I just chucked something random in there. We can definitely do 20 there maybe. Um, I yeah, speaking from experience, you can cover more or less content depending on how much time you want to take on that segment. Right. Is that, wait, is this, is this for 101 or 201 right now? 201. We're going for the 201. Yeah. I kind of feel like for 201, we want to spend a little bit more time on that. On the labels, bots, and workflow? Oh, what, what happened to my... Screen, sorry. I mean, we might be covering some of the same content in some of the other segments, though. Mm. Yeah. That was it's, one of the things, because in the introduction... The labels, did, bots, and Git workflow are kind of built into the contributor playground exercise for the 101, but for the 201, we got rid of the contributor playground and just walked through the labels. Um, so... One of the things, like, it's, it's literally just, here are the bot commands, here's a bot command reference, this is what happens. You've got to collect all the Pokemon to pass Go and collect $200. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get enough sleep last night. I, I, I love your analogies. There. Um, yeah, hey, Josh. Let's put you on the morning welcome. I can't hear you, but it sounds like you're kind of out for the afternoon, so. Yeah, I already put myself on the morning welcome. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that we don't have an exact schedule. And so I'd hate to put myself down for something and then have it end up moving to a time I can't be there. Yep, for sure. Um, I just kind of want to have a point of contact for each of these sections so that somebody can own it, get help, um, ask people to help out. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to chuck vague time frames in there. Yeah. So I put 1.30 to 2.30, then I was like 2.30 to 2.50-ish give or take. Bob, um, I'm happy to go through the time slots with you and just like assign time slots because honestly, a lot of this content will just have to fit how much time we have. Does that make sense? Yeah, and 
I'm, I'm right now, I'm just duplicating what I can while Sketch keeps me logged in. <laughs> um, Perfect. And then, you know, we can, we can go through and play or, like, edit, edit pretty much anything after the fact. Okay. Sounds like we'll have times signed up. Okay. What still needs, we have 10 minutes left. What else do we need to talk about and who do we need to assign? Looks like there are some 201 topics in the afternoon that are still up for grabs. Mm. So local golden test, I was going to ask Ben about that, Ben the elder. Um, and uh, labels, bots, and Git workflow, we need to assign that. I put some times down for things. Um, I put 20 minutes for this slot. We can add more or less. We'll have breaks as well, so. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. We should probably put breaks in there too. Um, but but we can, yeah. But in, just in general, the, the, the content, I think I can't do label spots and get workflow because I think it'll be at the same time as a pull request exercise. Oh, yes. Hmm. So who would like to help out with the label spots and get workflow? Uh, I, I think I think everyone on the call might be busy at that time as well and we only have we don't have the whole yeah, team here so yeah so so I mean it's fine for some stuff to be open let's throw it out on some and staff we have a whole bunch more people who volunteered to help yep honestly I push slack and communication there as much as possible and asking people to sign up I think one Did of the Sorry, you go, Gwen. Uh, I didn't quite hear what Bob's intention was. Uh, mostly just try and like, you know, we have two meetings and there's gonna be people that aren't gonna be able to make, you know, either of them, there'll be communication missing from one or the other. Um, if we can push a lot more decisions, just like in Slack, or like when when things are needed there. And, mm. okay. I'm, ha I'm happy to send out a thing into the Slack saying, this is what we need. Because I, yeah, because there's so many people who aren't on the call, but no, it's good for us now going through and assigning what we can to. Awesome. Um, and I am very happy to help with the um, morning stuff. Um, but sounds like sounds like we've got good coverage there. Um, we need to double check with Tim and Rael, of course, um, and with Jeff on find your first issue. Uh, Bob, when are you available to do stuff? Um, I don't know. So I'm looking at label spots and Git workflow because it doesn't take a whole lot of preparation. Yeah, I'd be happy to volunteer for that. Awesome. Cool beans. I'm going to put, I'm going to put Gwen. Uh, why can't I, I can't type right now. Oh, I can type. Cool. Okay. Um, there's another session called you, yes, you, 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 yes, you can review a PR. Um, Whose idea was that? I, I have, I have no concept of this. This is a great idea. Oh, that was, that was my idea. I was, I was like, uh, 
I want to do something different so we can get new people into reviewing PRs. Like, is, is there like, like a way to introduce them to the PR review process? How, how do you review a PR? What is a, what's a good review look like? And kind of breaking down like barriers of, oh, you need to be like, three years of Kubernetes contributing or like any kind of barriers that people might put up for themselves, like when it comes to reviewing PRs, like, because it's easy to say, oh, I might not be good or experienced enough to review something, but that may not always be true. Does it sound I, like a good idea? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. It sounds like you should do it. I just wanted, I also want like help from people who have actually reviewed quite a few PRs too, because like me, myself, I haven't done heaps of reviewing, but I've always just kind of, I'm like, I'm a Kubernetes lurker. Like I, I was a Kubernetes lurker for a while. So yeah, I, I need help with this. But I just, I just kind of wanted to just, yeah. Do, well, I'm turning to word salad right now, but yeah. Have you have you looked at um, Tim's talk from San Diego? I have not. I I need to catch up on. You know, yeah, San Diego that, was in November, but I. That will be. I would suggest that you take a look at that talk, um, because it, it's a it's a it's a very it, it's it's it, it's a very good talk about reviewing PRs from the point of view from, from Tim's point of view in terms of where he is um, with busyness, et cetera. And certainly he, he would like to raise an army of people who can review PRs, um, but, but there are some caveats in that. So in order to become a PR reviewer, um, I would start from that talk and review that talk and, 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 and see what you think, Alison, that there's the, the, one of the warnings that he puts in there is that you, you have to be careful about, you know, rubber stamping uh, mm. pull requests. And the, 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 the way which you avoid being a rubber stamper is, is to get, you know, if you don't have the, the deep knowledge of, the code you have to acquire it and in that talk he explains how to acquire that knowledge and and sometimes that means so he has about two or three steps of what to do to acquire the the knowledge to authoritatively review a pr um uh, and the backstop uh, is that you talk to somebody who has who has um garnered the knowledge through knowing the, that part of the code base um, so it, it, it's it's a good idea, and um, I think that Tim's talk will be a good starting point to springboard off of. Thank you very much, Rob. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely I'll definitely have a look at that today. Um, we're yeah, it, 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 it's a very good talk. Very good talk. Uh, and Tim will be a good person to talk to about this. I think. Oh, wait, Maybe just you can give the Oh, you go, Gwen. You go, Gwen. I'm so sorry for cutting you off. Oh, no, 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 no worries. This is Tim Hawken, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe he can give the presentation, especially if you say, hey, it's, it's like a 20-minute thing. Do you want to? That, that would be really cool if he's around, if he's available. I don't know if he is. So he actually asked me how he could help more. So I, I'm Boom! sure. He's, he's giving a, the only thing would be he's giving another talk sometime throughout the day, like the the 15 commands I wish I knew. Or wish that's, uh, that's at noon. I already saw that. It's at noon. This would be towards the end of the day. Boom. I'm going to ping him. This would be great. Or Bob, you can ping him. Someone ping him. Bob is really cool, so. I just. Okay, I think we've run out of time. Um, well, we're running over time. Um, uh, the last thing we have is finding your first issue and closing remarks. Um, I think there's going to be like the group of us in 201 probably. 
Um, Anno, did you want to leave any of these? Not really. I mean, what if we really, really want you? Okay. I don't Which know. Which one would you want to help us? Uh, let me check quickly. Something. I, sorry to put you on the spot. I mean, take your time. I just want to make sure that we don't just forget that mm -hmm. we're here. I will choose something later. Cool. I will put myself in the in the dark. Awesome. I just wanted to make sure everyone's. Thank you, Gwen. Uh, so yeah, I th I think we've we've covered pretty much everything. Um, thank you so much for turning up. Um, this is really good meeting. Um, and uh, so our action items, I just want to recap on those. Um, so there's the slides. I'm going to go through and make sure those reflect the content proposal. Um, there's the signing people. Uh, we're going to post a message in the Slack channel. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Ben about the the local building test. Uh, going to chase Tim Tim Hawken about the reviewing PR. Um, and Where's the, the and yeah and you go you go go on sorry I'm just sorry nope I interrupted no no you go uh did you mention just putting like uh placeholders in the slides yeah placeholders in the slides um or, or breaks or something I mean we should reuse them as much as we can but presenters need to make them theirs. Mm. Uh, Rail copied the, the deck and applied the new template this morning. <clears throat> yeah, but some of these need new, new slides and some of them just basically need to be like, why is this here? I, don't, I would never say it that way kind of things. Um, and then um, we should, Bob, we should have like a, a matching content to time slot by the end of the day, you think? Uh, that like, if someone else can get in the schedule and actually not have a problem, um, I, I, have no sketch. I have no sketch things. Um, what I can do is I can go over and like add like estimates for the time next to each, uh, just fill that in. I can do that for the rest of the day and that might help with the sketch. Okay. I'll ping you with that. Okay. Sorry for interrupting. I, I, um, I, I think we've, I, I, the meeting recording is going to be up. I'm going to go through those action items I just said because I'm a bit hazy. I think I just forget, forgot my whole previous sentence. <laughs> but yeah. I, I think we're going to cut it here because we're running a bit of a time and I don't want to hold everyone's day up. Um, but thank you very much for coming and uh, see you next week. So, see you in next week or the week after. Um, we're meeting next week? Um, uh, so there's the Contributor Summit main meeting that happens every week. And then there's the NCW meeting happens bi-weekly. So. Okay. Right, that's right. I've, I've missed all the Mondays because party time. No, because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I, I am much less fun in real life. <laughs> um, awesome. I, I would disagree with that. Ah. Um, this is awesome. This is great. I think we're we're gonna like wait, let's make sure we have everyone own a thing 
um, by the end of the week. This is, of course, this, this, this feels like super duper chaos right now, but this will make for a wonderful experience for everyone involved with this workshop, I think. Um, it's just so much nicer if you only have to make one thing awesome instead of 10. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so, hooray! hooray. Thanks, Alison. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Arnold. I really appreciate you all turning up. And thank you, Josh, who's um, left us, and, and Jeff. I, I feel like I'm like, I'm just receiving like an Oscar or something and I need to thank everyone. But I, I've, I've been really grateful for everyone who's like turned up and contributed towards this effort. So I'll see you all soon. Uh, at the next meeting. So thank you very much. I'm going to hang up. Um, bye. 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 See you, Alison. See everybody. Bye.